Even if you're going in one turn and you want to overtake a lorry and all, you just twist the throttle and it gives you the entire power and you go like that. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel once again. And in this video I'm gonna talk about the touring aspects of this motorcycle which is the Interceptor 650. I've done my touring review on the GT650 and many people have already asked how this motorcycle gonna react when you take it for a tour actually. So here I am <laughs> doing a tour and uh, here are my observations. So firstly I need to tell that the power delivery is very practical. You don't have that much of an outrageous power that you don't need during touring. This power is like very apt where you can uh, comfortably cruise from a speed of 90 to 140. But the only one thing is 90 to 110 you don't face much of a wind issue and from 110 to 120 you can avoid the wind blast with uh, a tank bag which you can put over here and it works and from then on 120 to 140 you'll have terrible wind blast i have to say that you need to have a taller wind screen or you have to do something else to cut off the wind and uh, so th that's the sweet spot like what i believe is 110 to 120 will be a sweet spot on this motorcycle without much of a wind and uh, you can tour for a long time not much fatigue so power delivery is like awesome it has enough juice even if you're going in one turn and you want to overtake a lorry and all you just twist the throttle and it gives you the entire power and you go like that i'll just demonstrate you all the wind blast and all now we're going in 80 we have touched 90 now 100 i can feel the wind blast okay by 120 i have to tuck down a little bit uh, that's how the speed goes in so as you see the bike actually picks from 90 to 120 in no time that means overtaking on a highway is not a big issue at all and uh, to talk about the luggage carrying capacity yeah uh, you might have seen my gt650 touring video i've told that uh, the option of a magnetic tank bag is uh, not possible because the efi system is getting some problem with the magnets but on this motorcycle i'm not finding it the reason is because uh, the gt tang is something different and uh, the interceptor tang is different so i believe that my the magnets on the tank bag is not playing any game but i could see that when the motor is on and if i keep the magnetic tank bag on this motorcycle the idle rpm actually goes low but in gt it goes way low so that the bike actually cuts off so in this motorcycle you don't have a problem of using magnetic tank bag you can use it but still my personal feel is if there is an issue like that don't use it for a prolonged time it may end up screwing up some of the system and the possibility of having a saddle bag is like yep it's a, it's a bit disappointing thing that your saddle bags might get fried because of the exhaust which is slightly placed above the average line you can have something like this you see you can have a tail bag kind of a setup but not a saddle bag or if you are gonna have a saddlebag which is uh, is a small one then okay but what's the point of having a small saddlebag or you need to have something which actually sits over your seat not on both sides of your seat which works and if you are planning to tour with pillion then i have an observation that the foot pegs of uh, pillion is slightly onto a taller side as well as it is more close to the body it's not a good sign for your pillion to sit for a longer time because you you will start feeling that cringe feel or the suffocation if you are riding for a longer period of time it's not because of the vibrations and all vibrations are like very very minimal even uh, your pillion won't feel any vibrations on the foot peg or on the seat but it's because your pillion might feel that he or she was not having proper or enough amount of space to sit and play around with the leg so we yeah, have that that problem will come uh, to talk about the riding ergonomics like you can see my foot is rightly placed below my butt the grab to the handlebar is like just hold it no pressure onto the shoulder nothing onto the arms it's like comfortable very relaxed until you start hitting the wind blast and you start putting a lot of pressure to <laughs> negate the wind blast you won't have any pressure over your hands so it's like a very relaxed riding posture and on the gt650 i told that you cannot hug your tank bag properly so on this one i, I don't see that problem because on the gt you have a rear set foot peg so when the foot peg goes behind you actually hug the engine so which is not a good sign you might fry your thighs so in this one you can you can do this so that's that's a wonderful thing so in that sense yes very good ergonomics when you compare with the gt but i believe that gt will have a much more advantage when you take it on uh, higher speeds because on a gt i was much comfortable at a speed of 120 km per hour 
but I'm getting the same comfort on this motorcycle at 110. The reason is because I'm upright, I'll start carrying more more wind. So apart from that, there is uh, no other issue. I really like the way how this motorcycle handles on highway. Amazing. And to an extent, you can do off-road. Say you tour to some place and you accidentally hit some uh, off-road patch. Uh, it's not an issue at all. It's not as good as a Himalayan, but it's not as bad as a GT650. But in, the, in that sense, I believe that yes, this is going to be an all-rounder motorcycle next to Himalayan. That's my personal opinion. And yeah, I didn't talk about the mileage. I was getting a mileage from 22 to 28. Yes, you heard it right on the highway. Okay, not on the city. 22 when I ride a little bit trash and that got 28 when it was just gliding. <laughs> because we had a lot of traffic and we didn't want to overtake the entire traffic. So what we did is we just sticked on to a speed of 80 km per hour and we almost got a mileage of 28. Which is like a very very good thing for a 650cc motorcycle. So that's it with the touring review of this motorcycle and I hope you liked it and if you want to know the touring capability of any other motorcycle that you would like to see in my channel you can message me over Instagram or you can comment down in the uh, comment box. Okay so there are a lot many other videos uh, for the Interceptor 650 like the mileage review and a complete review after my 600-700 km ride so go and check it out and you will be liking it. So as always. Show some love in the form of likes and comments. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.